Welcome to HXGN Live TV. Today's nations face a wide range of challenges when it comes to infrastructure management to also national food security, which is a major issue that's currently being addressed in South Africa. And today we're speaking with Massimo Zotti of Planetech Italia, the Italian Hexagon Geospatial Premier Partner. Massimo, great to see you. Thanks Thank for you. joining Thank us. You for and we also have Hugh Dean. He's the General Manager of Integrated and Smart Systems at Paramount Advanced Technologies. And Hugh, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, great Appreci to you. Appreciate the time. So let's kick it off with Massimo. So tell us about how Planetech Italia has succeeded in creating a wide range of vertical applications, it sounds like, from infrastructures, marine, wildfire monitoring, with the Redicus and, Mo and Map Enterprise. Yeah. Yeah, we started uh, uh, looking at the, the current uh, availability of uh, satellite data coming from different platforms, which today uh, allow us to, to access every day to a continuous flow of satellite data, and uh, data which we cannot uh, look at uh, uh, as a single uh, uh, data set. And so we needed an automatic uh, process to ingest all this data, transform this data into information. And so we have built this uh, platform, which is called Reticus, from uh, the, the name of the unique assistant of uh, Copernicus, ah, to keep this cool. strong link with uh, the, the Copernicus program in Europe, which uh, uh, put at our disposal a huge amount of, uh, of data. And so we succeed to transform, uh, thanks to Reticus, this continuous flow of uh, satellite data into continuous flow of information. That's great, that's a perfect segue into my next question. So tell us about how the Redicus infrastructure solution, basically the data from that solution is integrated into MAP Enterprise. Yeah, the, the Hexagon Geospatial Technologies uh, has been uh, really crucial to help us transform this continuous flow of uh, information into what we call actionable knowledge. Uh, so we succeeded to create a vertical application for uh, infrastructure monitoring, so for the, the ground uh, movement uh, analysis and control, for uh, uh, wildfire uh, monitoring, for uh, food, agriculture, aquaculture, and uh, several, uh, to satisfy the need of several markets. That's great, and how can smart nations basically benefit from this wide range of monitoring services? Yeah, the, these monitoring services are uh, uh, available on a global base because data are collected continuously and uh, if uh, we succeed to standardize uh, the way we access this data, we transform this data and we, can, and we create a vertical application for different markets, we can really fulfill the needs of uh, populations uh, all over the world and solve real problems for, uh, for the people. Interesting, you know, you mentioned earlier aquaculture. And tell us a little bit more about the Redicus Aquaculture Smart Map solution. That sounds yeah. pretty interesting. Yeah, the aquaculture uh, solution help us uh, to, uh, to understand, uh, depend on the base of the uh, quality parameters of the seawater, uh, uh, which is the right moment to collect the fish from the water, in uh, crossing this information with the, the, the trends in the price of the fish. So the, the farmers, the, the, the farmers of, the, the, of the, the, the fish farming, they can understand which is the right moment to collect the fish on the base of the, the, the growth rate of the, of the fish and the price of the, of the production. So in order to, to find the right moment to, to go to the market. That's excellent, really, really interesting stuff. So now let's, let's switch it over to Hugh. Before we talk about some of the really in very interesting things happening in South Africa that you're working on, tell us a little bit about Paramount Advanced Technology. Yeah, sure, Matt. Uh, so we're a, a, um, a South African company. We're based in Midrand, which is near Johannesburg. Um, so we're traditionally, we form one of the companies as part of a group of companies under the Paramount Group. Um, we restructured our company as a system solutions provider. We were traditionally an aerospace uh, mission systems company, um, but uh, we restructured it in such that we could serve the systems capability requirements for uh, the different uh, companies within the group, but also being able to address specific market opportunities, to, uh, you know, sort of taking that directly to market. So we uh, we arranged into uh, four business units. We got airborne mission systems, which is some of the traditional business that we uh, that we used to do. That's in uh, mission systems upgrades to aircraft, both rot rotary and fixed wing, um, as well as uh, modernization um, uh, weapons upgrades and so on. Uh, we've got an autonom autonomous systems business unit that looks after niche uh, UAV design and production requirements. 
Uh, <laughs> and then we've got uh, the, the, the remaining two business units. One addresses the, the military market in terms of the emission systems requirements. And then uh, the business unit that I run, which is integrated in smart systems, um, which is really sort of an open mandate that we had to being able to uh, to, to <coughs> leverage the, the, the sort of best of technology and the experience that we had in the defense environment and looking how we could apply that to the civil markets. That's great, you, and I'm, I'm going to pivot here real quick, and I think I read this in your abstract, or one of your abstracts for HXGN Live, about the food security threats that are happening in South Africa. I, I was not aware of, of any of these issues going on, so tell us a little bit about these issues and how the agriculture stakeholders and leaders of the nation are trying to address them. Absolutely. So, I mean, uh, food security as a whole is, is, is a global phenomenon or, or uh, problem at the moment. Um, so, in the, in the, obviously, food security is about the affordable, um, uh, the access to official, uh, uh, sufficient, affordable, uh, sustainable, and, and nourishable supply of food. Um, it's estimated on the African continent 150 million out of uh, the, the sort of approximate 1.2 billion population on the continent is affected by food security. In the adult context, that really sort of affects one out of four people in the continent, which is a, which is a massive problem. So uh, uh, the problems associated to that, uh, specifically around climate control, uh, sorry, um, uh, climate change in uh, terms of droughts, floodings and so on, um, farming techniques and uh, not being able to, uh, uh, to keep up with those changes, soil degradation, um, urban migration, because as the farming communities themselves became less sustainable, more people moved to the urban environment. Uh, those are just some of the factors. In, in South Africa, we have a, uh, a couple of uh, unique challenges um, around issues such as farming uh, safety and security. Uh, we've got a, a very high prevalence of farm attacks at the moment, which is uh, which has certainly caught the the uh, uh, the center stage of the the international community. It's it's, it's well known, um, and then also issues such around land claims, land expropriation, and so on. So all all major challenges, um, and all challenges that at the moment are not conducive to um, to maintaining a sustainable farming environment. Yeah, wow, yeah, fascinating stuff. It, there's a lot going on there. Uh, and it sounds like you all are definitely tied into this and you're developing a location intelligence solution really to mitigate a lot of these safety and security risks. And tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, sure. So, um, so <coughs> you know, th there are a lot of discussions about smart and uh, safe cities uh, with the concept that you cannot make a city smart until you make it safe. And, and I think that's anonymous to the, to the, to the rural um, uh, uh, sector as well. That you have to make it a safe environment for the, for the guys to be able to operate in before you can look at optimizing and making, a sustainable and, and making farming sustainable as a whole. So food security is based on, on four uh, recognized pillars. So um, uh, availability, accessibility, uh, utilization, and stability. And availability is key on the or premise on the, the fact that, that, that they're farms and that they're farmers. And unfortunately, the reality is there's not the ad adequate supply to be able to, uh, to service that requirement. So <coughs> all, you know, we're um, focused on developing frameworks and being able to use technologies in applying that to food security as a whole. Um, but more specifically in the safety context, we're looking at it being able to, um, uh, to, you know, to address the issues around safety and security and how we can apply technologies to be able to make the farming environment um, certainly a safe one. That's great. You know, in many ways, I think you answered my next question, but I'll throw it out to you anyways. Like, how does this offering help enhance the well-being of the rural communities as a whole? Sure, so um, some of the pillars of our solutions, uh, we, we, we've termed it Paramount Protect. Um, we believe that no system is effective in a modern environment unless there are uh, communications and situational awareness. And those are really two of the fundamental uh, focus points that we're trying to give these communities. That means they have the ability to be able to communicate to each other something that was hindered before, and the ability to be able to proactively um, act on situations hopefully before they arrive. So it's basically turning it into what's traditionally been a very reactive uh, domain into something that's more proactive. So where communities then take responsibility um, <coughs> you know, for, for being able to look 
um, to look after themselves. And these are some of the sort of the, the, the key points about around the national rural st safety strategy that have been put in place. So our Paramount Protect uh, framework sort of hinges on, on elements such as uh, unified communications, situational awareness, incident management, uh, community-based intelligent, and, um, and uh, physical protection measures. And these, of course, are all um, uh, technologies that, uh, that, that certainly form part of the Hexagon offering. And, and certainly that we see as being, um, excuse, the, excuse the wording, paramount, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in including as part of, as part of our solutions. Um, so for us, you know, we're a values-driven organization, uh, which means you know, part of our business model is about embedding ourselves into the communities, into the client space, understanding the operational needs, and then coming up with the solutions that we can use to help and address them. So I mean, specifically in this case, the well-being of the community first and foremost is about the safety of the farmer, creating the environment in which the farmer, his community, his family, and that can, uh, can uh, thrive and therefore contribute to being able to, um, um, uh, to food security as a whole. That's great, that's great. You know, gentlemen, we're almost out of time here, but I always like to throw this out. Any parting shots, any, any last minute comments here that we may have missed, and we'll, we'll go with you first, Massimo. Yeah. We see that what we have uh, today in, uh, in, in a change world where uh, the dynamic uh, availability of uh, information really creates the opportunity for, uh, for the citizens to, to improve the quality of uh, their life. We just have to, to, to find the right way to help them uh, achieve these results. Yeah. Excellent. Hugh, any last words for us today? I think, um, I th I think twofold. To, to, uh, Internationally, what we've seen in the Southern African region in, in, in uh, discussions that we've had with officials from other governments and that food security certainly is one of the, the top national strategic objectives in each of those countries that are being addressed at the moment, which, uh, which really, um, you know, it, it means uh, from, from Paramount's perspective, it, it means, you know, we know we are addressing issues that are relevant and on the global stage and, and certainly at the conference like this, the interest that's been shown in the work that we're doing has, uh, has, has really been fantastic. That's great, Thank that's you. great. And this concludes our HXGN Live 2018 uh, segment with Massimo Zotti of Planetech Italia, along with Hugh Dean from Paramount Advanced Technologies. And both of these gentlemen were very kind enough to share their insights today on what truly makes a smart and a secure and safe nation uh, as well. And we'd like to thank both of you gentlemen for your time today. Stay tuned for more insights. And if you want to watch additional episodes and learn more, please go to hxgnspotlight.com.